Hi all. Welcome back to my system vlog sessions. So in last session we have already discussed what is array, what are all the types of array and methods of array. So in this session we will discuss the examples for all types of array. The first one is fixed size single dimension array. Fixed size means we know that the size is fixed throughout the simulation. Here I am taking int array 5 that means we can store 5 elements. So I am storing 5 elements. We cannot store more than 5 or less than 5. It should be equal to the size of array. So if you insert more than 5 or less than 5, you will get the error. Okay. So in the initial begin by using for each loop, I am printing all the array elements. I am iterating the array elements. And if I want only one element, so we, by using the index value, we can access. Here you can see I am um, I'm, I'm using array of 4. So that means it will return 500 because 500 is the fourth index value. So if I want to access 500, I have to use array of Four. And one more point is by default the array will be initialed with values 0. So after declaring, so here I'm, I have not initialized, I just declared the array int array 5. So if I want to access the array elements, I will get the values 0 only because by default the array will be initialed with values 0. Here you can see all elements are 0 only. So after declaring, I will get the values. Okay. This is fixed size single dimension array see fixed size single dimension array i am getting all the elements this first one is the fourth index value okay now we will see multi dimensional array okay fixed size multi dimensional array here int array 62 six rows two columns 62 means 6 cross 2 12 elements we can store this is how we have to initialize the values in multidimensional array. One, one thing is the tick. This tick we, we have to insert. If you don't insert tick, you will get the error. Why we are using this tick is because of the array assignment compatibility. Okay, because this is unpacked array and this is packed. So here we are using packed array. You may have this doubt why we are not using tick here. In fixed size array, we have not used tick, right? Because if the number of elements and the size of the array is equal, then no need to use the tick symbol. So if it is not equal, the number of elements and the size of the array, we are, then that time you have to use the tick. So it will make the compatibility, the array assignment compatibility. Okay. So in uh, unpacked array, this is we are using unpacked array. And here in while initializing, we are using packed type, right? So it will make the compatibility between the source type and target type. Okay. So uh, while we are when when we are using the unpacked array or two dimensional arrays, we have to use the tick. And uh, now, now I am printing by using the for each loop. Now we can also declare the two dimensional array. One more example is this one. By I am using bit type. So here this is I am specifying the range here, not taking the static value. Just I am taking the not using the scalar value, I am taking the vector, okay. 4 down to 0 means 5, 1 down to 0 means 2. That means 10 elements we can store, 5 cross 2. So, but what is this? So, each element is of 6 bit. This means in 10 elements, each element is of 6 bits, okay. This is a mixture of both packed and unpacked array. But it is uh, packed array only, okay. Each element is of 6 bit, that's all. So, I am uh, here I am printing, see. Here I am initializing the this bit, this array. Here also I am using tick because 10 elements we have to store. The size is 10 here and here how many elements we have declared? 1, this, this hole is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I told you that the size of the array and the elements present in the array should be equal. So since it is unpacked, we cannot separately write both 2, 3. We cannot write separately, right? So we have to use it in a packed array manner only because this is the uh, matrix of rows and columns unpacked array means or multidimensional array means packed of rows and columns so we have to declare like this only so when we are declaring like this we have to use the tick symbol it will make the compatibility okay and now we will see i will not run the code i will give the link okay so packed array means we already know if the dimension is mentioned before the variable name, it's called the packed array. Here, first I will show this one. 
okay bit 2 down to 0 3 down to 0 array that means 3 rows 4 columns 3 cross 4 12 bit so 12 12 bit packed array okay this is how we have to initialize the packed arrays here i am not using tick because the assignment pattern is also packed type and the target it is also pack type only pack type means we are storing only one bit sorry we are storing only one element but that one element is of 12 bit 2 down to 0 3 down to 0 means 3 cross 4 12 bit okay this is how we have to initialize we can also initialize like this bit 2 down to 0 3 down to 0 3 down to 0 array name and one bit one one element that is 12 bit 12 tick h 5ff that means we are storing 5ff 2 down to 0 means 3 rows right so in single linearly we are storing the elements we already discussed how the packed array looks like right so 3 rows 3 rows means in first row in first row array of um, 2 down to 0 means array of 0 is 5 sorry array of 0 means f array of 1 means f and array of 2 means 5 like this we are storing but f means what this f is 4 bit 1 1 1 1 like this it's like this packed array means like this okay so when i run the code you will understand here you can see array of 2 is 5 array of 1 is f array of 0 is f okay so f is a 4 bit 1 1 1 1 f is a 4 bit so total 12 bit element 12 bit element this is packed array and in packed array we don't use the tick most of the time because the target and source is both of the it is compatible that's why we are not using tick here and unpacked array if the dimension is mentioned after the variable name it's called the unpacked array 3 4 here 3 3 rows 4 columns 12 elements we are storing and we are using tick also and this here i am printing the values so now we will see combination of packed and unpacked array here i will show you one more thing first one is this one i'll uncomment it okay yes bit 4 down to 0 array 2 down to 0 1 down to 0 that means 3 rows 2 columns 6 elements we are storing 3 cross 2 is 6 right we are storing 6 elements each element is of 5 bit 4 down to 0 each element is a 5 bit and here i am printing the value one more example i have here i will show you one thing okay see here bit 0 down to 1 0 down to 1 array 0 down to 2 0 down to 1 that means 3 rows 2 columns 6 elements we are storing okay 6 elements we are storing and it is of how many bits uh, 0 down to 1 0 down to 1 means 2 cross 2 4 bits each element is 4 bit but in the initialization you can see i am storing 20 4 bits means what 2 to the power 4 6, 16 up to 0 down to 15 like uh, 15 uh, uh, up to 15 we can store okay more than 15 we, we cannot store because it is a 4 bit the el each element is a 4 bit but i am taking 20 so what what it will take we will not get any error if we use more than the bit okay but we will the bit will be truncated okay when we use the packed array and we are using more than the bit declared we will get the bit will be truncated see here you can see 0 0 is 4 but what the value should be 20 i have to get right but i am getting 4 because 20 can be represented as how, how we can declare uh, represented in binary format 10100 0, 0, 0, right 10100 0, 0, 0 is the binary format of 20 it is a 5 bit but we are using only 4 bit so the first bit 1 will be truncated that means 0100 0, 0 will be remained 0100 0, 0 means what 4 value so it will uh, the first bit will be truncated and we will get the value 4 here so this is what happens okay now we will see the dynamic array dynamic array means what what is dynamic array the size can be set or changed during the runtime so now we will see the example 
int array empty square braces so when we when i call the new method it will create or allocate the memory for the dynamic array so new of 5 means the size of the array is 5 we can store only 5 elements without tick also it will work okay because the number of elements and the size of the array is equal here so and the size of an array first i'll run the code by seeing the result we can discuss Okay, size of the array is 5. We are storing 5 elements. So, size of the array is 5. And I am printing the value here. Okay, this is the elements. And I am resizing the array. Resizing of an array and copy of, copy of old array content. That means, how we can retain the old values and resize the array at the same time. Array is equals to new of 8. In parenthesis, we have to write the existing array name this array name we are writing in the parentheses by that we can uh, perform like we can achieve the resizing so now it will create eight size and it will retain the old values so here you can see size of the array after resizing is eight and it is re retaining the old values this old values it retained and after it was it is padding zero it's giving zero values right so now overriding existing array previous array element values will be lost so this is overriding the existing array just by calling the new method it will override the old values and it will create the six new memories so size of array after overriding is six and if i want to access i will get the values zero here i am printing the value so i am getting zero 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 and array dot delete array dot delete will delete all the elements here we cannot delete the particular element if we if we call the delete method it will delete all the elements so size of the array after editing is 0. Now we will see associative array. What is associative array? So when the size of the collection is not known, it is called the associative array. Right? When the size of the collection is not known or data space is sparse, it is called the uh, associative array. Here I am taking 7 bit data, 7 bit array, array of int we know that index type can be any data type in associative array so here in this example index type is int okay and we are storing 8 bit data each element can be 8 bit and initial begin we know that when we are using it when we are using the array that time we can declare or declare and initialize the value right we have already discussed in associative array when we are using it we allocate the memory so array of 5 i want to store the element 2 in the fifth index then if I want to store the 4 value in the 10th element, 10th index. Like this we can store randomly. And um, I will run the code. Here you can see I am printing the values. Okay, by using the for each loop. And print array size and number of the entries here i am printing the size and dot num method array dot size method and array dot num method i am calling size method will return the size here we are declaring six elements one two three four five six so size is six and the number of entries is six also because we are declaring six values right so both are same here and then i am calling exist method if array dot exist exist method what it will do in that particular index the, uh, if that index is present or not it will check an element it doesn't exist at the index so if that in the, uh, the if the element is not presented at the given index it will uh, return okay okay if, the, if it is true it will display this statement otherwise it will display the else statement okay so here at the seventh index the value is present or not it will check array dot seven yes seven is present right index 7 is present so it will print the this statement an element exists at the index 7 and after that i am calling again exist method if array dot exists of 8 in the 8th index value is present or not but here we don't have 8th index only so it will execute the else statement else statement what it is an element doesn't exist at the index 8 here see an element doesn't exist at the index 8 now first last methods we will call array dot first index 
So first index of the array it will return. First index of the uh, array means which element? Five. First index, right? First index of the element is first. Uh, first index of the array is five. So it will return the index five. We are getting here. So last one is twenty. Here you can see. Why it is last means I told you it will uh, it it will as uh, in ascending order it will store I told you right already it will ascending order it will store so the last index is twenty and next one is this array dot uh, next method or oh, say array dot previous method so for that first I have to declare index is equals to uh, what is the index number so index is nine now so if I call the previous method, it will return the previous index of the nine. So before nine, what it is there? What is there? Mm, so first, it will it has to arrange in the ascending order. So five, seven, nine, ten, seven. It will print. Okay. See, previous index is previous index of nine is seven, and next index of ten is thirty. Here I am calling next method. First index value is 10, and I'm calling next. After 10, what it will, what what the value will come? After 10, 13 will come, right? So next means the first the index value is 10. So next method will call the next index. So next 13 will come. So since it is in ascending order, by based on that it will take the values. Okay. So this method is also done. Now we will see delete method. So in associative array we can delete the particular index element or we can delete all the elements also so if you mention the index it will delete the that element okay array dot delete seven that means it will delete the sixth value and if you call the uh, size size will be decreased seven after deleting the element having index seven it is printing only one two three four five elements okay now I'm calling array.delete. So it will delete all the elements. All the element means the size will be zero. So this is how the examples, how associative array, dynamic array um, will be different from each other. Okay. Thank you.